Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video tutorial from. Peter here again. Today we're going to look into how to deploy our Windows Autopilot deployment profile device name template also included. Alright, uh, let's give it a go. Before we actually set up our autopilot device on the move, we always need to come over here on that dashboard and actually click on device enrollment, deployment profile. So we need to create a profile from the create po uh, profile list. We're going to choose Windows PC. Let's give it a name. Let's call it um, Autopilot. We're going to call it Autopilot Azure Active Directory Domain Join. No, no, Azure Active Directory Join. Apologize for that. Because we have our uh, two two types and I'm going to show you right now so you can actually click on yes here but I'm going to leave it for no right now but let me do yes and go to the next step so we have two deployment mode so we can use user driven or self deploying which is in preview here is what I'm actually referring to Azure AD join we also have an hybrid Azure AD join in my next video, I might be covering the Azure Active Directory Hybrid Join. But for the sake of this video, we're going to stay on the Azure AD Join. So here, you might want to show this or you don't want to show this. Most of the time, we hide that settings. We also hide the privacy settings also if you have not set it up in your own environment. So now I'm looking at this right here. Let's say the default value for the diagnostic data collection has changed for the device running Windows 10 version 1903 and later or Windows 11. You might want to take a look into that. Let's see what it said. But for the sake of this video, we're going to, it looks like it's a software requirement. You might want to read it. So for the sake of the video, we're going to hide that settings. It's a hide change account option. We're going to hide that. The user account type is going to be standard, not admin. Say so allow pre provision deployment is going to always be known. And for the language, you might want to select the language right here, but normally I leave these on the operating system default. Automatic configure keyboard always going to be yes. Now this is the good part of uh, the the list where we're going to apply the name template. So here I'm going to put yes. So right now what is happening here is that either you can use the serial number or you can just use a random number it depends on the syntax you wanted to use. Here I'm going to use serial number and I'm going to say, um, let me put web, I'm going to say web worker lab, but that is too much. Let me just put w lab in a second. I'm going to put w lab dash and I'm going to put my syntax. So, my piece is actually going to be W lab dash the serial number of the device. And that's everything that we need to do right here. I'm going to click on next. So I'm going to add a group. Last time on the previous video, I showed you how to create this autopilot group. You can actually check on the playlist for this video series. So I'm going to select my autopilot group and that's it next so if every information that i have here is actually satisfied or i'm very satisfied with this information i can go ahead and click on create and that is how you create your windows autopilot deployment profile on my next video i'm going to show you 
how to deploy the how to enroll your Windows 10 device into Microsoft Intune using Autopilot. I hope these videos have been informative. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.